The recommendation by the Ombuds Office follows a complaint received by it from volunteer cleaners at the Health Ministry. The volunteers expressed their dismay at the fact that members of the group were given permanent employment within the ministry considered ahead of them and without having to go through the required public service recruitment process. Ombudsman Basilius Diakuha in his most recent release annual report recommended that government and its agencies assist the children of the liberation struggle to register companies and apply for fishing rights. He also encouraged the group to apply for group resettlement under the land resettlement program. The advice contrasts with that of Diakuga's predecessor John Walters in 2020 when he wrote to the Secretary of Cabinet advising that Cabinet refrain from issuing instructions to public service officers and not to employ members of the children of the liberation struggle without them having gone through the formal recruitment process. Walters followed that up by approaching the High Court and successfully calling for it to set aside a decision by cabinet to give preferential consideration to members of the group. He stated in his recommendations that government look to other ways to assist the children of the liberation struggle, adding that the group has relied for too long on preferential treatment in recruitment. Timo Andreas, NBC News, Ventuk.